No, bro, let me do it. Let I us do it. You not to worry about such things. All right then. I shan't Oh my god. This this um, okay then. This All right. Time to get back into the swing of it. We're making progress now. The solution to Arcano's woes is as good as found. I wonder what manner of shipwright repairs reed woven boats. Okay. Let's get started. A well mannered uh well mannered shipwright. Nunohanu wishes to take you to the shipwright. The shipwright's name is Wuku. He's a Zebral who only moved to Kozama Uki a few years ago, but has since mastered our customs to an almost frightening degree. He's especially strict when it comes to manners, so make sure you offer him a proper Hanu Hanu green. We wouldn't want to offend him right before asking a favor. A proper Hanu Hanu green? Oh, that one! Don't worry, I remember how it goes. Then we shouldn't have any problems. Let's head to Aku Bikbi uh, to the east of here. And we gotta keep an eye out for our ether currents. We always do those as we go. Otherwise, otherwise we screw ourselves over. <laughs> I should have hopped on uh, Sparks, but it's it's fine. There should be one nearby. Northeast. Can I see it from here? Northeast. It's probably that way. I'll be fine. Look over there, do you see the big winding staircase? Oh, it seems they have a place here where visitors can stay. It looks cozy. This is Ukabekbi, the village of all. Those who drift into Kozama Uki from Tuliola and elsewhere are welcome to live here alongside the Hanu. As for a Wukub, he lives and works in the House of Water Tai, at the top of the large tree nearby. Follow me, but I should warn you, the climb up the stairs can be challenging. I will accept the challenge! And by accept the challenge, I mean I'm going to hop on my chocobo and it's gonna be fine. Right, Sparks, old buddy? Oh, it might be it. Holy shit. Okay. Wait, is it northwest? <gasps> there it is. Come here, little ether current. Okay, sorry, Sparks, buddy. But I'm going with my mountain zoo. These are a lot of stairs. But I like the actual treehouse sort of aesthetic. Oh, it's so nice. Imagine we get housing like this. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. I should mention that Wuki isn't only a stickler for etiquette, he's also, well, you'll find out soon enough. We are hoping to enlist the man's aid so it pays not to be rude in any case. 
Uh, I'm clicking on sparks by accident. Oh ho, Kali! Oh ho, Kali! Oh my goodness! Everyone else was starting to play, so I gotta play catch up. Hmm. What do you want with me? Uh, assistance. Right. A greeting. Oh, hot Kali. Good. You brought your manners with you. <laughs> when in Okano, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. He reminds me of Uncle Iroh. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. You! You're Wukramat! Yeah. Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wokevu. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Uh-oh. Please, take up your axe and play. No, 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 I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, all right? All right then, consider it forgotten. Well, he bounces back fast. How prompt. We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone, uh, Abokisha? That I do, but while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. Gathering way? My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. We can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Let's go! Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. No, bro, let me do it. Let I us do it. You not to worry about such things. All right then. I shan't oh worry. Oh my god. This 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 um, okay then. This I love him. Is your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season. And have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Yes! Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. Okay. 
We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola, or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. Yay! We're going to gemstone hunting. Let's do it. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. Okay, let's go, Birdie. Little Birdie's gotta tell me where to go. That should save us some time. Yeah. All right then. Let's get moving. Onward. Oh no. Eavesdroppers! How dare! Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress. We're still gonna crush his head because he crushed our tacos. <sighs> Ihiana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to the lever, it might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> the third-rate promise is making herself useful after all. I want to beat him up so badly. A rather eccentric fellow, but I feel his heart is in the right place. Okay. Cave Kiki Tola is southwest of Honu. We can return to the village first and head there on foot. Okay, speedy way, let's go. For me, as is tradition, first time playing it, you gotta walk on foot. Otherwise, you miss the ether currents and such. I almost envy how effortlessly he can shift from one mood to its polar opposite. At least I presume he does so by choice. That was blessed here, is it? Uh, let's be on our way then. Okay, let's go! Look, you can see the falls at the back of the cave. These hollows must have been carved out by the constant deluge of water from above. Cave Kikitola, as promised, home to many deadly creatures. Venture inside if you feel confident, but I will conduct my own search out here. You can spot raw Obika by its green hued glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. I shall. Help Skira inside the cave then. You take 
the west half, I'll take the east. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Let me see. Anything else? Nothing to send you into danger for the sake of the float, but if you're willing. Okay. We're always willing. Because we're crazy. Oh my god, I love this. It's so pretty. Northwest. Here's the east current. So we'll grab that too while we're over here. Upon a closer look, we can spy the reflection of the water. Oh boy! Joy! Hi! Actually, because it is a traditional journey, I'm going to use my chocobo. <laughs> Shiny pebble catches your eye, but its coloring is gray rather than green. Cack and heck! a chunk of stone going a distinct shade of green. This seems like the exact kind of mineral Linu Hanu was looking for. Some of the cave's inhabitants took umbrage at my presence, but it was nothing a few swatches on my breast couldn't handle. I picked over the ground near the entrance but found nothing. Did you have better luck inside the cave? This it? Yes, this is Uban Kanax. Along with Cryo's contribution, we have more than enough for our needs. The stones you brought shine very brightly. I thank you both. You would have been happy to know we were putting things right. Truth be told, a good friend of mine was meant to be festive festival leader for this year's Inahana. But when that big storm hit, he, he did not survive. It fell to me to carry on in his stead. That was why you agreed to Wuklamat's request, despite your initial reluctance. Yes, it hurt to hear, but she was right. Though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize that the path to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me, and I will walk it for myself and for my friend. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Please, rest assured that we have taken your plight to heart. I'm certain our companions are preparing the other materials as we speak. Everything will come together, and the Hanu shall host the splendid, uplifting festival. That we shall! With that, let us return and deliver the um, but Obakiox to Wookiebu's waiting hands. Let's go. Sun's starting to set! Da 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 Not today, ya fish! Oh my god, though, the tilts. Oh, the tilts are so nice. Da, 
Not today, turtle. I hope Wuklamat's fray was as productive as ours. We've come too far to stop now. The lifting winds must go on. We just got back ourselves. Did you find a stone we need? Thanks to the third promise and her mighty swings, we've collected some suitable logs of UP. Yo, you I, I already can't pronounce half this stuff. One of the old box keys. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce half this stuff, but here's the stone. Yes, these are the ex these are excellent samples, a goodly quantity too. At this stage, you'd likely surmise that the lifting winds encourages the crops to grow, but not exactly how, eh? Well, you're in for a treat. If all goes to plan, the results should be spectacular. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Now, to get to work crafting these pieces for the float, I could use an assistant versed in the arcane arts to enhance the Yukapu's conductivity. Then I'd be delighted to help. Everyone else should head back to Ukanu. We'll join you at the float once the work here is complete. The final touches are fairly routine and shouldn't take long. Go ahead and wait by the float. I'm excited to see how Ukana turns out. I am... Um, you know what? I'm gonna be crazy. Let's go! Fly, little belly, fly! Okay, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. I wanted to skydive, but... It didn't work in my favor today. upon a time wait is that freaking peacock that is a peacock that's that's most definitely a peacock As Wookie V said, the festi festival really is a spectacle to behold. Gathering the Ukapu was a trial in and of itself. At first, Wookie criticized everything I did. Then he suddenly yells, 
I spoke an ill of the third promise and much punished myself and proceeded to slam its head into a <laughs> tree. I told him not to worry about it again, and it was like snuffing out a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. At least we've seen to the poles and a uh, new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. Noise. Okay. Which means we're ready to go on to the next thing. <laughs> 